Hello fellow YouTubers, today I'm going to be playing Ghost Recon Online. Now this is a first person shooter, or I mean sorry, third person shooter, that I don't know how recent, I think it's one year old, um, like maybe August 22nd turned one year old. Um, it's quite fun actually for a third person shooter, I don't actually play these often, I'm more of a first person shooter, COD fanboy kind of guy. But I actually prefer this over Call of Duty, which I will never, I will, I do not say often about my many games. Um, some of the main points that I like about it is just, you, there's a variety of things you can do. You can capture the flag, hold points. It's similar to Call of Duty, but it still has its own perks. Oh, well, the thing I also like is they give you a, um, uh, hold on one second, I gotta adjust the voice comms. Windows key. Okay. Crap, what was I saying? Ah, hell, hell. Why do I have that? Anyway. There's a range of customizability. You can customize guns, barrels, attachments, as in sights, um, laser designators. Um, there's a bunch of other things too. Um, it does have a pay-to-play feature, or like you don't have to. It's a free online game, but some people will actually pay to get like better advantages. Like you can buy guns, armor inserts ahead of time, and they do give you a edge over competition. Which I know a lot of people don't like, and I, for one, do not use those uh, boosts. I save up my actual um, in-game money that you earn from playing matches and winning, and by guns. And it takes a while, so it's going to take a while. Um, one of the other features that I like is the voice chat. It's clear, crisp and it's limited. You can't just spam it. Oh, and the cover feature is one thing I do not see in many games, is the ability to hide behind cover, pop up, and do what you need to. Um, they also have like a prestige system where there's a uh, certain, you get a certain number of medals based on like achievements you earn, like recon, specialist, and assault. Those are the three classes, by the way. A specialist is more of a light machine gunner. You can either choose between a light machine gun and a shotgun. Or you can be assault, which is basically the same thing except it has just an assault rifle. It can withstand a little bit more damage than the light machine gun. And a, you can choose between a shotgun and the assault rifle. The specialist is more of a damage oriented, while the assault is more of a defense oriented. Recon is more of a either distance or a stealth class, and recon you can either have a sniper rifle or a uh, submachine gun. The submachine gun is quite weak, but there are certain oh crap um, effectiveness of it because you can use um, certain attachments like not, not attachments, but like kind of like power ups. There's cloak and there's oracle. Cloak kind of um, explains itself. You basically turn into a cloak version. You're basically invisible but there's like a slight distortion and Oracle basically lets you know like where enemies are uh, here I'll give you a demonstration of what Oracle is now see I'm not totally invisible but I am um, quite invisible it's hard to see unless you're really focused on looking for it oh yeah they have a slide feature as well to get in the cover quite fast. Uh, darn, what was it? Um, then, okay, so that's for it for recon, basically. Um, assault has two things. It's either a heat or um, a blitz. The blitz is basically you run in with a shield and you can knock people over, which stuns them for a, quite a few seconds, which is good if you are team-based and you just have someone run in then the other person comes in and basically mops up. Then the heat is basically a suppression technique. It's used to uh, 
basically keep enemies from firing at you and to push into a defensive position. Um, and then for specialist, you can either have a Aegis or a uh, Blackout. Blackout disables enemies' heat um, and disrupts their uh, vision, so they can't shoot. Very limited, but can be useful at times, because it'll disrupt the Aegis. The Aegis is basically a big bubble that is impenetrable to bullets and grenades if they bounce off. The only way to get inside of it is either to use a Blackout or to uh, use a... Like to actually run inside the shield. Or you can actually roll grenades on the ground. There's two different ways to throw the grenades. You can either chuck them over or you can roll them on the ground to get underneath of the Aegis. Um, grenades you do have to buy consecutively. You do not have an unlimited amount. Um, bullets you don't have to worry about. You don't have to continue buying that. But there is an option to buy special ammo which will increase your firepower. Um, you do have to continually buy that if you want it. It's not nece it's not always necessary, depending on how good you are accurate and what power your rifle is. Now, it does have a damage system. Chest and body shots usually get 80 to 90 with a sniper rifle, depending on which one you have. Headshots can range anywhere from 120 up to almost 200. Um, leg shots, 50 below. Arm shots, also 50 and below. Um, getting, and when you get in cover, you can see, though, that you actually have some bonus stats when you actually go inside cover. You get more control, better accuracy, and better stability. As you see, I didn't see that guy, because the cover. Cover works really well in this. You're going to want to use it to your advantage as much as possible. Um, you can also buy um, armor inserts, which will increase your health, your HP regeneration, and your resistance to damage and criticals. Criticals you usually get more often when you hit the head region, but you can still get them in the chest. They are almost one hit always when you're using a sniper rifle. Um, and when you're using assault rifles, they usually do about 30 damage per shot per headshot. Oh, see, there's a heat right there. The only way to use the dodge heat is to go right behind cover, or just be really lucky. See, there's a blitz right there, using his shield. See, without him, I, yeah, blitzes can actually run through heat without any effects, because you're actually not shooting. You're just running in and basically giving your team cover. Now, the point of this game mode is to capture as many points as you can. There's five. C is neutral, and you each own two points at the beginning. Uh, there's That's what Blackout does right there. Oh, they're holding that point good. Anyway, the point is to capture either C and hold it, or just go all out and try to capture all of them. As soon as all the points are captured on one side, then the game is over. Well, the first round is over, I should say. It gives the other team a second chance to come back, because you switch sides, and then you do it again. And you, whoever holds the points gets, um, like, gets the win. If you, and you can get a draw in quite a few of these. It only goes to two rounds on this version. Um, but other game modes, it can go up to three depending on when you tie or if one team is just not doing anything. Like, say one team gets the point, wins, and then it runs again, there, would not, there will not be a, set, uh, a third round. Okay, so we got a guy up there. Oh, he got me. Ah, see, that's one of those guns that's hard to get unless you actually pay. Now, see, I have the Sentinel here. It, I actually saved up. I'm a, I'm a level 20, and that's the only gun I've bought. That's how long it takes to actually get enough points to get a gun. And that's not including attachments. Attachments cost thousands of RP. Um, this gun itself, I think, cost me 17,000 RP, and you only get 100 and some odd RP per round. So it takes a while. Um, you can also buy different colored clothing and helmets. The helmets you can only get by doing um, pay, like paying for the helmet, like with real life money. But if you want like uh, clothing, you don't have to. Crap. You don't have to pay for that with money, but it is quite expensive. 
And of course, the better chest armor you buy, the more armor inserts you can put in it, increase your health, damage, stuff of that sort. Uh, let's see here, what else is there? That's about it for what you can do. Um, there is really good, okay, there is the option to do fire team. So let's say you only want to play with a group of your friends, and you want to stay together in the matches all the time. You basically add them to your fire team, which is a group, like a squad. And you can do that. I think you can have a maximum of four in a fire team, though. I'm not for sure. I haven't quite tested that out. But it is quite helpful to have a fire team. Because then you can coordinate your effects, or, eh, coordinate your assault better. Ah, see, that's one of those pay-to-play weapons. You know they have special weapons like VSS, or the one you just saw. I can't remember the name of it. But the only way to get that is by actually opening crates. And the crates can contain random items. And they sometimes have limited edition crates that you can get. Um, which will give you an advantage, depending on whether or not the other team has it or not. But, like, you can have an assault rifle, sniper rifle, which is basically the, uh, the VSS is what it's called. And if you play Daisy, it's basically the same thing as the VSS Ventores, except it's not a sniper rifle. It's an assault rifle in this one. Um, it's quite overpowered, in my opinion. But it is quite useful. Oh, here's a good example of, uh, see we have one guy on the point right now, and since it just ran out of time, it'll go into overtime until it's actually either neutral or no one is capping. Oh, I wonder if I get that with the game. Nope, didn't get him grenade. But you can chuck grenades relatively quickly. The only thing I don't like is you actually have to switch to them as you would a weapon. You can either switch to your pistol, sniper rifle, or uh, grenades in my case. But um, the secondary for all classes is the pistol, which you can buy new pi other pistols. Um, I wouldn't recommend it right away. I'd recommend getting a new primary first if you're playing. Because the base weapons are adequate, but they're not going to get you those major wins all the time. You're going to need better weapons, like with more damage, better accuracy, and better, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I got a dry throat, um, better uh, control. Okay, so, great. I'll probably end up switching to Oracle next, so I can, ah, there's a heat. See, that's what the heat looks like. Was that bi that's an Aegis right there from our team. Ah. Okay, looks like our guy got him. Okay. Let's catch oh, didn't get him. My bad. Oh, sniper rifle. And they do have quite a wide variety of weapons to choose from. And as you level up, you will actually get the chances to unlock weapons and test them out before you actually get to buy them. And as you test them out, you'll have like one or two rounds to use it on. And after you use them, it'll actually give you the option to buy it half off for real life money, which could be a good deal if you have the money to spend. Um, but unfortunately, you'd have to buy it right then and there to actually... Uh... Oh, come on, voice crack. Um, to actually get the advantage of the half off, it doesn't stay forever. Oh man. Oh, I'm not doing so hot. Oh crap, grenade. Out. Oh, he's, uh, as you saw there, there was a little icon on that guy's name. You can unlock icons by doing certain qualifications, which are basically achievements in game, which will unlock the medals. Never heard of that. Interesting. Anyway, they will unlock different icons you can use. Um, there's sniper right. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Okay, good guy got him. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to Oracle now so you can see what that does. And that's how easy it is to switch. You can switch right in game too. I can switch to any weapon. You can switch from submachine gun to sniper rifle, 
pistol to other pistol, grenade, you know, there's four different grenade types. There's HEs and there's regular. The HEs are high explosives, which will do more damages at higher radiuses. The other ones are for more precision. They'll do more damage the closer you are to the center. Um, grenades are quite cheap. It's like 160 RP for one, I mean, a five. Ah, I don't like that guy. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing so hot. They do have an in-game chat, as you probably saw in the beginning of the video when I muted it. Um, on quite easy, quite clear. Um, you can mute individual people. You don't have to mute the individual. You don't have to mute the voice chat altogether. Um, okay, here. See this guy in front of me? He's an example of one that's bot, helmet, clothing, just new t uh, upgrades. He probably has a weapon also. Not for quite for sure because I can't tell, but just by looking. Um, you pick up ammo off dead corpses. You don't need any special perks or attachments. I think for some reason on um, this one, um, I know there's a lot of people that rage a lot on Call of Duty. There's actually no really rage factor in this that I've seen. I have not raged once. Like, I haven't got angry whatsoever. I like how clear cut it is also. Like, when you get a headshot, you know you've gotten a headshot. It'll have a little skull pop up. And as you see in the top left, everyone usually says good round or good game. You got quite a few people that are sportsman like. They treat the game as you would rich supposed to treat a game. You don't get angry, you compliment people on the other team. You're it's an altogether friendly game. It's quite fun. I recommend you all try it out. Um if anyone wants to go ahead and add me on here, I'll play with you at any time. Um and anyway, that's pretty much it that I'm going to do for now. If you guys want to watch more of this, please just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll do my best. Um, I do have school coming up, so I'll try to get as many videos out as I can, but it's going to be kind of tough sometimes. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. I'll talk to you all later, alright? Have fun, and keep playing.